Number nine during this pandemic, America's truly great artists and visionaries haven't sat inside sulking. They've created more beautiful art. I am talking here about the great B movie director, David the Rock Nelson of Des Plaines. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Here is a look at his latest masterwork just released. It's Potato Monster. Yeah, yeah, go now. Go now. Oh, Potato Monster. Yes, my buddy. My friend. My, you're my buddy, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> See the potato monster come to life and hop right at his victims. <laughs> See it go on a rampage of terror, horror, horror and terror before your very heart-stricken, heart-shocked uh, eyes. Back up. Wow. We should have maybe given the kids a warning before yeah. playing that yeah. clip. Uh, yeah. David His wants. Images uh, might be disturbing. This yeah, all you fans to know that he will be at this year's Monster Bash in Mars, Pennsylvania, if it goes on as planned in in June. I like that he shot four by three. It's like yeah. the, the Zack Snyder Justice League. Yeah. Really controversial. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. didn't want The Rock to shoot that way, right. but he did. Wow. <laughs> uh, number eight. Uh, you think you're tough? Uh, we found some of the world's most extreme bees living on the edge. Right here, scientists found hundreds of bees nesting in a home made of ash on the rim of an active volcano in wow. Nicaragua. Hmm. They're exposed to acids and lava, and yet they thrive. Uh, they get all their food from one type of wildflower, a flower, by the way, that, earned, that learned to adapt and grow in the midst of volcanic acid rain. And don't mess with the female bees when it comes time. They dive right into the volcano ash, lay their eggs, and a huge eruption can come at any wow. time and wipe them all huh. out. So they're huh. all in, <laughs> which is nice to huh. see. Yeah. That's commitment. Right. Hmm. Number seven, let's talk about wildflowers. Now that spring is here, you'll want to take advantage of everything there is to offer. Travel and Leisure and other websites have lots of guides to find the most breathtaking wildflower displays across the United States, mm. from California to Florida and everywhere in between. Lots of the flowers start blooming in late March through May, especially in places with warmer climates. Well, write that down. You haven't done a good wildflower segment during the Titanic yeah. in a long yeah. Yeah. time. You're, well over, you're way overdue. Down right now. You're at, I'll email Chester right now. Please mm -hmm. do. Number six, maybe you're thinking of getting into shape this spring, so why not give yourself a goal, like taking part in a strongman competition? Put it this way, training for one of these competitions includes a 26.2-mile journey, same as a marathon, only it's not a marathon. The course may include the 250-pound fire flip, oh. uh, a 200-pound sled push, a 200-pound sled drag, the kettle toss, walking lunges, running for 14 miles uphill with a 20-pound weighted vest across your chest. Wow. That's just to name a few. Like if you think you can handle the stuff, you can actually follow lots of strongman workouts on Instagram or Twitter. Or you can wow. elect not to do any of those yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> All right, number five, people are replacing their usual house plants with marijuana plants. There's a company called Pop Plant that sells four different sizes of fake cannabis plants. It's the look and feel of a cannabis plant without the actual effects of marijuana. There are all sorts of plants available, ranging from $25 to $125. The company's founder says she wants to change the way the world views weed by normalizing its presence in daily life and highlighting the plant's aesthetically pleasing qualities. There are lots of fake pop plants available if that's uh, something you're into. Hmm. All right, number four. Uh, we should thank Do uh, John Darnielle, the lead singer of the Mountain Goats, for bringing this to our attention. These adorable biscuits have beautiful scenes that's right into the cookie. They're British, so some people know all about them. But if you didn't, wow. It's going to be great to be alive. Just look at these things. They're typically called malted milk biscuits. Mm, they come in vanilla, chocolate, and custard yeah. flavor. Uh, if you can find a better cookie with better art baked right on it, I say go get out. Go get out and get them. Yeah. And look at how beautiful these Those are. Those are beautiful. You could put even more paint on them if you wanted to, right? But I think they're borderline perfect just as they yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Hang them on your wall, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So well, thanks, Paul. You're welcome. Very welcome, Larry. Number three, now that the weather's getting warmer, you should think about updating your outdoor space, and that might include a she or a he shed. I still don't know why we, he shed, she shed, whatever. That's been around for a while, but they're yeah, more popular. <laughs> I don't understand that either. If you're a handy person, you can convert an old backyard storage shed by gutting it and giving it a coat of fresh paint. Oh. The key to making it your own, whether it's a sewing room, a TV lounge, or a space to escape your kids, if you don't have an old shed, you can buy a prefab version. After the year we've had, more people are considering this idea because they're mm. looking for an oasis close to home. So it'll be yeah. right, right in the backyard. Ooh, the shed's growing up, those four-walled aluminum, yeah. rusty, yeah. shake them too hard, they fall yeah. over shit. Right. We don't want to spend a lot of time in that shed no. growing up. No. We'd lock some of our buddies in there yeah. occasionally yeah. and put a two-by-four in there so they couldn't get out. But. Yeah, good old days. Oh, yeah. yeah. Number two, here's an incredible place off the coast of Australia. Oh, look at that. It's Ball's Pyramid. Oh. Well, it is. That's in the Pacific Ocean. It's all that's left of a massive volcano. Huh. It was wow. discovered in 1788, and up until 2001, yeah. scientists thought it was devoid of life other than plants. That's when they discovered land lobsters living under a single wow. bush. These bugs are six inches long. Ooh. They're known as the walking sausages of Ball's <laughs> Pyramid. Okay, wait, wait when, where are we going? The no walking sausage. I just want to note the restraint I am showing. Yeah. You are showing an this incredible. Script. But they I'm only proud found of you, 24 Pat. of these. Oh. Scientists took the bugs and they they're now being bred in captivity. The hope is to reunite the walking sausages with Ball's pyramid once again. Yes. All right. Ah. All right, number one, can we take just a quick moment to appreciate the incredibly cool look that Daryl Hall had in this video. It's from a Dutch TV show called Top Pop from back in 1977. Okay. You're a rich girl and you're gone too far cause you know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch girl, but it's gone too far cause you know it don't matter anyway. Say money, money won't get you too far, get you too far. It's a good look. It is a good look. It's a one. And as an aside, this song is written about a guy, I think from Highland Park. Oh yes? Yeah. Whose dad owned the, what's the pancake, the famous pancake place out Walker there? Walker Brothers? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, oh, I, Walker I, I, Brothers, yeah. I think it's Walker Brothers, and they said, um, rich boy just doesn't oh, funny. say hit to me, so they changed it to rich, <laughs> rich girl. girl. Huh. And they must have run into him or were friends with him or something, thought he was a jerk. I don't know. Huh. It's not easy being I think under they the... were right. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense if it was... <laughs> they made... Right. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, Hall and Oates made the right decision. They yeah, know what they they're doing. They always do. Yeah. yeah. That was a well, great Hall coat. probably yeah. made the right decision, and Oates <laughs> just said, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Whatever you want, whatever. As long as it keeps bringing in those million-dollar checks. <laughs> You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buy the fur coat. That's not a nice. All right, we're going to see...